Transposition of the great arteries occurs in 1 in 5,000 births. There are two types of transposition, complete or detransposition, and corrected or L-transposition. In detransposition, the morphologic right atrium and right ventricle connect to the aorta. With L-transposition, the morphologic left atrium connects to a morphologic right ventricle that connects to a transposed aorta. The morphologic right atrium connects to the morphologic left ventricle that connects to the transposed pulmonary artery. While abnormal anatomy occurs with L-transposition, this defect is not a surgical emergency following birth. Because of the acute neonatal hemodynamic consequences of detransposition, we will illustrate this abnormality in the next slides. Detransposition is recognized prenatally when the outflow tracts are carefully examined. The normal crossover of the pulmonary artery and aorta is not seen, and the outflow tracts appear to run parallel to each other. The left outflow tract demonstrates the vessel exiting the left ventricle to be the pulmonary artery, bifurcating into the right and left pulmonary arteries. The aorta, originating from the right ventricle, is parallel to the main pulmonary artery. Although the four-chamber view is often normal in fetuses with transposition, the four-chamber view in this example demonstrates disproportion between the left and right atrial and ventricular chambers with the right side larger than the left. This is most likely secondary to volume loading of the right side of the heart, which could be secondary to a ventricular septal defect not seen in this view. This is a cine clip illustrating the findings described in the previous slide. The cine clip of the transverse sweep through the chest compares a normal fetus with one with detransposition. Note the following. 1. The four-chamber view in both fetuses appears to be normal. 2. The left outflow tract view demonstrates the ascending aorta to be similar in both fetuses. However, as the aorta begins its course posteriorly, notice that it bifurcates in the fetus with detransposition, becoming the pulmonary artery. 3. The three-vessel view is very different between the normal fetus and one with detransposition. The labeled image at the level of the three-vessel view illustrates the position of the aorta and absence of the main pulmonary artery in the fetus with detransposition when compared to the normal fetus.